Today's vlog is brought to you by Stella Artois. Stella, the beer named after a woman. So, my name is Tom, it's Wednesday, and today we're talking about our favorite alcoholic drinks and I guess alcoholic habits and perhaps alcoholic geekiness in general. We'll see how much I can fit into a relatively short time. Um, I kind of came to alcohol kind of late. I was one of those kids who said, ew, beer, gross. Part of this was my dad drinks a certain beer that I just really don't like the flavor of. And so he'd give me a little sip, you know, as a kid to try it out. And I just went, oh, God, that's disgusting. Now, when I got into university, I started to say, oh, well, you know, I started to think I was kind of a little classier. I started to look at some of the fancier beers. I said, you know what? I've got some Irish heritage, I think. Let's drink Guinness. And actually, I liked Guinness. It may sound weird as, as you know, someone starting out there, but I actually really liked Guinness. And um, so I started off with that, but really only after I was like the legal drinking age. I didn't really do any, you know, underage drinking, but, oh, pardon me, there's a reason why I'm just broke there. In Canada, the legal drinking age is a much more reasonable 19 as opposed to 21, so it's not too bad. Um, since then, my alcoholic habits have changed slightly. I, ha I went through a scotch phase for a while, a mix-a-drink phase. Mostly I stick to beer these days. I find I don't really have... The tolerance that I used to, um, and I just, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like that kind of losing control, that kind of, you know, what did I do last night, that, you know, losing an entire kind of day basically to being hungover. I don't really like that. So I tend to mostly just have a beer every now and again. Like, like I will have one probably, you know, a couple nights a week I'll have one, you know, and that's just, that's just really it, just to relax. I never, ever, 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 ever under any circumstances drink and drive because that's just stupid. Very stupid. Do not absolutely ever do that under any circumstances. But I think that's really about all I've got to say. I've always been kind of interested in beer and like microbrews. I've always wanted to explore a bit of that myself. I know what geek icon Will Wheaton, Will Wheaton, Will Wheaton, um, actually does some microbrewing, which I think is kind of neat. I I find the idea interesting. I don't know if I'd ever want to do it because I feel like whenever you have something that's like homemade, it often tends to be crap. Like, I've had a couple people's homemade wines that were half-decent, and had someone's homemade beer that was actually really good. But I don't know, I have this thing in my head that they often end up being really crappy. But I'd be kind of curious to try it. I had a buddy who always did, did his own wine, but anyway, I'm rambling on like mad here, so. Um, beer is good. Tomorrow, Hung will be telling you about his uh, alcoholic beverage, and we all look forward to reading that. And I'd love to put a little thing somewhere like he does for mine, but I'm, I'm not that good at YouTube. Now, as always, we must end with, well, another word from our sponsor, Stella Artois. So, you know, go drink them. And by sponsor, I mean I happen to have a can nearby. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm getting a text. So, bye, guys.